The hydrostatic test system is typically shipped in two pieces, one being the test console, which consists of the test pump, the gauge, expansion device, and calibrated cylinder. The other piece is the water jacket. If your water jacket is designed for accepting cylinders over 36 inches tall, then a pit should have already been prepared. Please reference the written instruction manual, our website, or contact HydroTest Products for suggestions on pit sizes and construction designs, if you have not already done so. For the purpose of this instructional video, we will be using a floor-mounted water jacket, 40 inches tall, designed for cylinders under 36 inches tall. When equipment is received, please inspect for any damages. If cotton shows any sign of damage, please note this on the trucking company's bill of lading. In case of concealed damage, notify the carrier within five working days. HydroTest will be pleased to assist in filing of damage claim, but it is the party receiving the shipment that is responsible for making all claims. To unpack the test console, carefully cut the steel bandit. Remove the top cap, and with assistance, carefully lift the sleeve up and over the test console frame. The cabinet is shipped on a wooden pallet. It is suggested that it be kept on the pallet. This will help keep the steel cabinet off the floor as well as absorb the sound of the test pump. The wooden pallet can be cut back to fit your area as needed. Inside the tester box, the calibrated cylinder in a parts box can be found. At this time, you should cut the bandit holding the calibrated cylinder in place. Remove the calibrated cylinder and open up the parts box. Inside the parts box, the following items can be found. Test record forms, high pressure bleed valve for the water jacket lid, low pressure bleed valve for the water jacket lid, half inch quick coupler, one quarter inch quick coupler, two sets of copper tubing, one long, one short, and a rubber hose for the copper tubing, and two compression fittings for the inlet and outlet of the water jacket. Also included will be various test adapters for the cylinders that you are testing. This is a typical spare parts package. Your machine may have more items than is shown here. Be sure, before installing any of the tapered threads onto the water jacket, that all fittings are Teflon taped. Use a high quality Teflon tape. After all items have been Teflon taped, you will now install the valves and quick couplers onto the water jacket lid. The first item will be the low pressure bleed valve, which sits vertically on the lid jacket. The next item, will be the high pressure bleed valve. This fits into the eighth inch pipe threaded hole horizontally on the jacket lid. The next item will be the quarter inch quick coupler which goes into the quarter inch female hole on the lid. And the final item for the lid will be the half inch quick coupler which gets put onto the bottom section of the lid. All items should be tightened and you are ready to start with the calibrated cylinder. After Teflon taping and inserting your fitting into your calibrated cylinder and tightening, you can now fill the calibrated cylinder with water. It is suggested that you do that 24 hours ahead of trying to run the machine. This allows the water temperature to stabilize. There are a few more hookups that need to be made to the water jacket and to the test console. The two pieces of copper tubing that came with the machine, the longer piece will go from the bottom outlet, which the compression fitting has already been screwed into and tightened. It will travel from the lower outlet up to your water control valve. Simply take an end of the copper tubing, insert into the compression fitting until it bottoms out. Tighten down on the compression fitting the other end then gets put up to the 
valve that controls water to the water jacket. And again, tighten that compression fitting. The other piece of copper tubing, the shorter piece, must have the rubber hose connected to it. That is simply a slide-on fit. The piece of copper tubing goes from the upper outlet of the water jacket, again with the compression fitting, and then the rubber end of the hose gets put onto the barb fitting of your expansion device, whether it be a, a glass burette tube or a digital readout scale, both are the same. You want to make sure that on that line that you do not have any kinks or loops as that may cause restriction of expansion. The other connections that must be made are the outlet hose that contains your pressure from the, from the pump to the cylinder is connected or quick coupled onto the water jacket lid. You must have a water inlet and an air inlet. Your water supply can either be hard piped, soft piped, or a regular garden hose connection can be used. A water filter is provided. Your air inlet, you must have a minimum of 100 PSI of air to operate the test console. The 100 PSI of air must be shown on this gauge, not on your air compressor. To adjust the, the air pressure, simply lift up on this black knob, and while you're turning, you will see that the pressure indicator will go up or down. The air operated test pump requires lubrication. Be sure that your lubricator is three quarters of the way filled with a good quality air tool oil. This should be adjusted and checked periodically. The proper adjustment is for one drop of oil to go through the sight gauge for every 20 strokes of the pump. To make the adjustment, there's a slot on the top which you would turn counterclockwise or clockwise. The water jacket should now be in place all hookups made and filled with water. Before we can verify the accuracy of your new hydrostatic test machine, we must make sure that there are no leaks. To do that, I'm going to now load the calibrated cylinder into the water jacket. Then quick couple your high pressure hose to your fitting. For this instructional video, we are going to be using the optional air or pneumatic operated lid closures. To operate those, you push the button. What we're going to do now is we're going to determine if all the hookups are made correctly and make sure that there are no high pressure leaks. In this exercise, our calibrated cylinder is rated to 5,000 PSI, so we're not going to go any higher than that. Um, your calibrated cylinder may be rated for 10,000 PSI, and your system may be rated for 10,000 PSI. Uh, therefore, you're capable of going to at least 10,000 PSI. The first thing we're going to do is to make sure that we have all the air out of the water jacket itself. To do that, we open up the low-pressure bleed valve. And we're then going to turn on our control valve which is labeled valve water to jacket and burette. We're also going to open up our largest burette tube, which in most cases is a 360 cc burette. At this point, we're going to turn this valve on. And when a stream of water comes out of the low pressure bleed valve, we'll then shut off the console valve and also shut off the bleed valve. We now have water in our burette, and we must start at zero. To do that, we bring the water level down to the zero reference marker.
At this point, we are not concerned about taking readings. We are simply verifying that all hookups have been made properly and that there is no leakage. The next step is going to be turning on the valve to water to pump and cylinder. And when water comes out of the high pressure bleed valve, we know that there, all the air is out of the cylinder we're testing. We shut that off. We're now ready to operate the pump. And we are going to go up to 1,000 PSI. And then we're going to continue up the scale in 1,000 PSI increments, making sure at each increment that we do not have any drop in pressure or any water rise in the burette. Stop at 1,000, verify that the pressure is holding, and continue up. Stopping at 2,000. And for this exercise, we will stop at 5,000. That will be our last increment. Again, in most cases, your machine will be rated higher than this, and you will want to run it for the full range. Since we're holding pressure, we're going to relieve the pressure, and we are assuming that all our hookups are, have been made properly. To do that, I shut off the valve water to pump and cylinder on the test console, come over to the high pressure bleed valve on the water jacket, and slowly open to relieve the pressure in the cylinder. If you had experienced a leak, you would have seen a drop in pressure or possibly a rise of water in the burette. It is important at that point that you fix that problem uh, later on in this instructional video, we would go through troubleshooting. Also, in the written manual, there is a troubleshooting chart. Uh, you must review that before you proceed to the next edition of the system accuracy.